It's Sunday morning and Nagasa Jafar is busy in his library collecting colourful books. He's gathering them up to take to children in rural communities here in Ethiopia. There's no car or van. The books are being transported on four legs, a horse fitted out with custom-made saddlebags. I'm travelling to a place called Guto. There are lots of children waiting for me there, gathered in one place. Even if they're not already all together, they'll drop everything when they see me coming. They'll run towards me. It's about time, so I've got to get going now. Nagasa and his horse are part of a project called the Horse Powered Literary Program. It's run by an Ethiopian NGO called Ethiopia Reads. It has a network of libraries nationwide, with at least one in every region of the country. The project is enjoying success and has inspired similar programs in Rwanda and Ghana. The most rewarding thing in my job is to see these children improve their reading skills. Some children couldn't read alphabets before. I really feel happy when I see children now identifying alphabets and reading stories. This makes me proud. Ethiopia has the second largest population in Africa. It ranks 195th on the global literacy scale. Around 2.4 million children have never been to school. The mobile library is very useful for us because they have books we don't have in our schools and that can help us enrich our knowledge. Children are expected to share household chores, so they have to carve out time to go to the reading sessions alongside their commitments at home. Mums like Tegis Nugusi are supportive. She realises the benefits that reading can bring. I think what the children are learning is useful. It diversifies their knowledge, helping them to think with an open mind. 